Um, you do well, have something a... just uh, sends me. Are you I walking like around? This... No, it's this venison that I had with me. Oh the yeah. Stew. Yeah, the venison stew will go. Uh, that that will that will go like 60 meters. So you <laughs> you have the entire zombie fraternity behind you. <laughs> but but a lot of these things have a um, a smell kind of like a range and but things like the like the bread and the blueberry pie will only go like five meters maximum Yeah, she fell down. <laughs> oh, it looks like, well, on my screen, she's floating in the air. Oh. I think she's lying I... down, but she's floating like two or yeah. three blocks off the ground. Do you see that as well or not? Um, I see something there, um, which looks like somebody that fell on the railings. Is you see where I'm switching my torch on off? I can see where your torch go, but I don't see anybody there. Oh, right. Where do you see her? Um, it looks like she's up. Um, so how do I go with my torch? F. Yeah. That's where okay. I'm seeing her. Over there on, on the second railing from the ground floor. Right. I'm seeing somebody there. Looks like a person. Well, if you can call it that. Yeah, so it's obviously, it's drawn differently on the screens for some reason. Yeah, there's kind of a different way in which it updates. Right, so I'm going to go crazy and, and make some uh, some cornbread. Because the cornbread is, is is fullness 10, so it's like a, it's probably going to be in the same race, range as tuna, uh, tuna cans, which isn't fantastic. But if you if it's a renewable resource, it's, it's probably worth having some of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like the large beef is fullness plus 30. The canned soup gives you fullness plus 10. Um, which is going to be similar with the bread. But the bread is, is not going to do... The bread does, does a, a little bit more for your health. Like plus 2, which is a very small amount. And then plus 10 for fullness. So you'll probably would have to eat... If you're completely hungry, you'd probably have to eat like 5 bread. I'm not sure. But it's definitely an option compared to, to canned food. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think five bread would completely fill you up. Do you make some bread? Um, I'm going to make bread, yeah. I've just oh made okay. one. But um, I just made one and I'm going to test that. So I'm actually, I'll, I'll actually make more. But I think what um, what's happening is I'm probably a little bit low on, on wood. Um, mind you, there might be some logs in here still that I can use. I've got um I've got logs as well. Oh, okay, there's there's some logs. Oh, it's a good amount of logs here. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll grab a bit of logs just to make the bread. There's some more on that left chest as well. Oh, cool. I'll just put it back in the other chest where the rest of the logs is. Yeah, there's there's a good amount of logs there now. All right, so let's see. Cornbread. Um. So I can um, throw in two logs and this will do the job. That takes 5 minutes and 20 seconds to make 64 rebar frames. Just, just to craft them? Yeah. Um, how expensive is the rebar frames in terms of um, iron ingots and stuff like that? Um, I can't tell you that, but I can tell you that it uses eight pipes. Yeah, so eight pipes. Um, okay, so so the mass is like this. You use one ingot, and that makes. Um, I think one ingot will give you twi uh, twelve. One ingot might give you 12 pipes, because yeah. I know that one ingot would either give you three or four um, um, 
forged metal and yep. then one forged metal will give you either three or four uh, pipes so five. it's like a three times four so it's 12 so you should get 12 pipes from I'm, I might be completely wrong I'll just double check myself here um, so if I take one if I take one ingot one ingot makes four forge iron and one forge iron makes three pipes so yeah one ingot will change into 12 pipes right and how much is the um uh the the rebar uh frames how many pipes do you need for uh eight eight pipes and that gives you um one yes wow it, it's expensive actually does yeah the um, fact that it takes so long um and that's the thing i know we'll need a ton of this stuff if we want to go build another base somewhere and we want to put it up you know on pillars it's um yeah we're gonna run out of rebar real quick so that's why i'm trying to make this stuff now but it's just taking absolute yeah it, it will take quite a while to make Okay, time to get some serious bread cooking happening. Okay, cornbread. Okay, so there's some cornbread in the in the food chest if you want to try it out. Yeah. Uh, plus two health and plus ten coolness. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> You're holding your hand open like uh, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. It does the same thing when you learn from a book. Um, yeah. It looks like it's he's actually eating the book. Yeah, Funny. I think uh, there's some um, some some cultures or languages that that express reading a book or consuming a book or <laughs> learning out of a book as eating the book. So I think it's probably true in that situation. He's it, it, eating the book. Yeah, very symbolic. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm just I'm just going wild on cooking this bread. So what do you think about the bread? If you if you have a few of um, a few stacks of that, or you kind of stack your bread, then that's quite a good thing to carry with you on a long trip. Yeah, I think so. But you're gonna go through it quickly because it's only ten fullness, so it's not it's not gonna be like venison stew. But it's something you can carry with you. With venison stew, if you're gonna carry that with you, you're gonna have a real fun time out there. <laughs> Yes. Especially if you dig, the, dig if you if you're doing like a bit of a reconnaissance trip and you you dig yourself a little hole somewhere or a little fort and you have the whole 60 meter radius of zombies running towards you to <laughs> to, to, to share yeah. your venison stew with you. 
Oh, you certainly want to do, don't want to do that in the middle of the night, especially no. not when there's a zombie horde in front of you. No, you don't. You don't want to do that. Uh, do you mind if I make another fireplace? No, go for it. Another campfire. Uh, another campfire, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, these um, the large stones is quite useful because you can craft one one large stone into eight small stones, and of course you can use that for all sorts of other purposes. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So we don't ever have to pick up any rocks again. You you don't if you if you want it if you want small stones, um, and you have a good amount of large stones, you can just craft eight small stones out of one large stone. Right. Yeah, it's quite good. Very handy. Oh, cookware. I need to go and get some cookware. Hmm. We probably, um... Oh, no, there's some pots in here cooking pots. Right, cooking pot. Have you have you seen this thing where you can you can use a stick um, to to cook meat on? Like you, you put a stick in your uh, as as cookware you put a stick in and then you put um, meat in the cooking area. No. What does uh, that do? If you don't have a pot and you don't have water then you put apparently you put a stick in the cooking in your cookware part and then it only opens up one slot where you can put say a piece of meat right and then you can put your fuel in and then you can basically uh, it's like um, roast meat or something or barbecue right. meat apparently okay. yeah Yeah, no, we are making a lot of bread. Right. So this is a really quick way to, I suppose, to to produce food if you have limited resources, if you only have a lot of corn. Um, but of course, corn would, would still be quite tricky to obtain if you don't have the resources to start with. And the corn actually stacks um, nicely. I, 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 um, the corn bread, um, I stack as uh, 54 of those. Oh, wow. So if you have one slot, um, one inventory slot, and you stack it with, I don't know if it's going to go to a, um, a stack of 64. I'm not sure. I'll have to test that. But if you stack those, um, you'll actually get, um, you can carry easily carry a lot with you that way. These guys re really love you when you when you grab a uh, bit of venison stew. <laughs> they really li like you when you do that. 
But the venison stew is great in the sense that you, you basically have complete hunger and you can grab you can grab that and it even fills up your um, your um, hydration a bit quite a bit actually uh, are you guys mining uh, metal and stuff like that at the moment yeah um, just trying to get some more iron for ingots at um, ingots to get well ultimately get more rebar frame Well, I can I can tell you you can stack at least sixty four. I'll just see I'll see see if I can add another one. That's excellent. Um, the maximum stack is sixty four. So I can I can tell you that much. You can stack sixty four bread. Uh, corn bread. So that's a that's a quite a good thing if you have limited inventory space. Is to grab a stack of cornbread. It it may it takes time to to plant it, to harvest it, to process it, to cook it, and all of that stuff. But it does seem to be worth um, having that. Um. Yep. So that's some cornbread there. Um, I'll just go and have a look outside and see if there's, um, if I can... If there's some, um... Uh, if I can help you mine a bit of iron and stuff like that. I think it makes sense for you to do the more informative stuff, you know, for your viewers, whereas for us we just... Yeah, I suppose the, um, I suppose it's a little bit boring to, to do the boring stuff, but I'll, um, I think what I'll do is I might just, um, I might just mine some of this, I might just stop recording here and I'll go ahead and mine some of this um, iron because it's quite loud and it's quite boring um, to mine this. So I'll, I'll stop the recording here and I'll continue when there's uh, something else to look at. Okay, so um, sun is going to go down soon. Um, was able to get a few of these. Uh, 45 scrap, scrap metal blocks. So that's pretty good because I think each of them is worth an ingot. Um, and I happen to actually get a blueberry pie in... Um, in one of the, the, the kind of cooler, cool, coolers outside. So I'm going to head inside before it becomes night. And then we can process some of this iron. Um, now one of the things we didn't know from before is whether um, the iron can actually be, the iron scrap blocks can be processed directly or whether we need to change it into scrap metal blocks first. I think last time uh, on, on a, one of our previous episodes we tried to um, basically process it directly but it didn't work but it could have been that the server just had a problem at that point in time um, so um, Mithin have you tried to um, process some of those metal blocks uh, directly um, no I haven't yet um, yeah. so I can actually move the scrap iron from this one, the one that I'm standing on top of. And then I can give it a, a try. I can basically yeah. test it and give it a try. Yeah. Um, so just tell me when you, you're ready with this one and I can I can give it a try. Yeah, you can go for it. Okay. So basically, if I go... I'll, I'll just go into my cross crafting recipe first. Um, you can take these um, scrap metal blocks and put one scrap metal block in and then you can craft that and that gives you 
that gives you six uh, scrap metal. Now six scrap metal is enough actually to, to cast one uh, mold, one, one uh, ingot in a mold of iron. Um, but the question is, is it possible to just take a scrap metal block just like that and make um, ingots straight from that? So I'm going to test it in this um, um, in this forge, um, and I'm just going to throw it in. So I'm, I'll grab, the, remove the iron ingot that's in there now, and I'll just throw the scrap metal block straight in. And it's actually going; it's actually processing it. Excellent. Yeah, because those the two that I throw in there should give me two ingots. It does take a, a certain amount of time to to actually um, melt through but uh, if if we can throw it straight in there and then um, cast ingots that way then it will save us the time of of having to change it first into scrap metal and then uh, change it into um, into ingots yeah so I'm I think I'll just um, that's actually interesting. I um, okay, so it's busy there. It's okay. So, are you okay with me throwing, throwing this 42 um, scrap metal box blocks straight in here, or do you think okay, that's okay. too much? I'll just okay, throw it in and I'll see how I go. 